So today we are going to go to the beach because I am the whitest person in the UK right now and I need to tan. Uh, we were meant, well, I was meant to leave earlier, but I've had a notification from DBD, uh, DPD, uh, that I've got a package arriving at 10 ish, 11 ish. It's, right now it's 9.30. And that should be the top box for my Royal Himalayan. So I'm waiting for that to get that fitted because it'll just be easier to put the helmet in afterwards. But anyway, yeah. So the place we're going to is called Wells on the Sea or next to the sea. Uh, again, just Wells. Uh, and on the way there, we're going to stop off a place called Castle Acre. Now, Castle Acre is the place I wanted to go to on another video. Uh, so the one where I reviewed my Aprilia Tuono. But I got it completely wrong and went to Castle Rising. And I said Castle Rising wasn't that great. It was nice, but it wasn't that great. It had a, had a really nice castle that I didn't see. Uh, so I'm a bit kicked about that. But yeah, so we're going to Castle Lake because they have some nice ruins. And of course, I like to do as many cultural stops as possible. Uh, so we'll see if there's anything else along the way. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to eat my breakfast and I will then show you my bike. This is the first thing I really bought. It's well, basically just a Royal Enfield, uh, well not head guard, but light guard. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, the two uh, panniers it came with when I bought the bike, uh, they're already jam-packed with beach stuff. And then uh, a reinforced uh, metal plate for the top box. Uh, I didn't get the screws quite right, but after the third time I just thought, hey, it's the closest I can get to perfection. And then here is the new stuff, which is in here, which I haven't even opened yet. But we have the M5 Givy uh, mono rack, which will top, sit on top of there. And then we have the top box here. This is the Givy Monokey Trekker. 42 litre top box. So I'm going to install that and I'll see you in a bit. Does it fit or will I have to take off the peak? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Okay, uh, it came with two stickers, so I've just put one there. Uh, and this one looks quite interesting. Yeah, just point to whatever you need when you don't speak the language. So I don't know if this is the best place to stick it, but I've st stuck it there. So, got to put the seat back on, uh, put the tools back on. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys on the road. If anyone lives in Peterborough and they're doing their test, car or motorbike license, be careful with this sign here for the 40, it catches everyone out all the time. Welcome back! <laughs> Let's go! Look at these roads! <laughs> <laughs> this is what motorbike riding is all about. A little disclaimer, when I say this is what motorbike riding is about, for me, this is what it is. For you, it can be going around the Nurmo ring. <laughs> uh, I don't know how fast, but for me, this is what I like, this is what I enjoy, and I hope you enjoy this as well. <laughs> oh, it's on the wrong channel. <laughs> Oh, that looks great. Let's get my phone out. Oh, for the future. <laughs> right, uh, so just 
just a quick one. Uh, if you have a Himi or Himalayan, and you ooh, and you haven't uh, joined the Facebook group of Royal Enfield Himalayan owners, I suggest you do. Uh, I'm a member. Uh, hello, if everyone, anyone's watching. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's just some great tips there. But something I am going to ask them today, or tomorrow when I get home, is if anyone lives around this area, because some of these roads look really, really good for off-roading. Uh, now I want to get to <laughs> the places I had in mind, but I mean, it's quite close to Peterborough. Uh, right now we're in Kingsling area. And these roads, well, some of these roads look really good. Uh, so I'm just going to ask uh, the group later on if anyone lives or has been in the area and they know any good groups to go on. Uh, but yeah, back to the video. That wasn't expected, uh, but yeah, Castle Laker, uh, it's just above Ely, uh, I would recommend to anyone that's nearby, that was, uh, it was insane, it was a really nice uh, place to be. It was £8.70, uh, the entrance fee uh, for the Priory, the castle was free, it did say there was parking, but the parking was rubbed off, so I asked the ice cream parlour man, and he said yeah, you don't have to pay. Uh, so yeah, let's head off to Wells, but before we go to Wells, 
We need some petrol. Ferrari! <laughs> I thought that was a Ferrari. I was going to say that looks so Ferrari ish. So red, and that was a Ferrari truck. But wait, Silverstone isn't next week. No, is it? Is it? No. I don't know. I know they just went to Baku. What's after Baku? Is it? I think it's French, isn't it? But yeah, that was just, that was a Ferrari. I don't know if it was a themed or it was actually a Ferrari. Lorry, <laughs> that could have been. Oh my god, that was cool. <laughs> you wouldn't really expect that <laughs> in the middle of Norfolk, uh, unless they have a factory here. There, who here? But I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm a big Ferrari, not Ferrari, F1 nerd. So sorry for just freaking out there. It's a typical English beach where you can't even see the sea. Uh, but yeah, I am now probably going to end this video. I am. Uh, I've got my shirt on. It's cold. And it's still sunny, uh, but it's just cold. Uh, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go get some fish and chips and some dinner, and I'll see you soon. So hit a like and subscribe if that's what you want to do and see more of these videos uh, but until then take care